Hi, this is Tom McDonald from TMSI. This is video number seven in my series of 10 videos explaining to you about your TELUS contract, your phone lines, and a little bit more about telephony if you're a business owner or manager, what you need to know to make sure that you're still on top of it competitively with your lines and your telecommunication services for your business. Otherwise, you're gonna be left in the dust. Now, let me get into some terms and definitions in this video uh, number seven and explain some things to you. Let's talk about uh, the words Legacy equipment, PBX, SIP, VOIP or VOIP as some people call it, and IP telephony. Legacy products. Let's talk about this. This is a legacy product. Just kidding. This is a piggy bank that you can put money into. But this is the old style phones, rotary phones. We're not talking about legacy that old. We're talking about what most people still have in their place of business right now. Could be an old Nortel phone system. Nortel's out of business, of course, so that's very legacy because they're not even making it anymore. But more importantly, legacy phone systems are referring to phone systems that can't migrate to the next generation of technology being, being delivered by the telecommunications firms like myself. And that is uh, VOIP or Voice Over Internet Protocol. Legacy phone systems can't do that. So if you've got a legacy phone system, you're kind of stuck in the past and you, they're going to have to move into something else. Now let's look at look, Samsung, for instance, has a phone that's a digital phone. Is a digital phone a legacy product? Well, it could be. Not in Samsung's case, it's not because the box that runs the legacy or digital phone also runs um, IP phones as well. These IP phones work on the same box. So what's the difference between the two? Let's talk about that. Typical legacy phone systems don't accommodate voice over internet protocol for IP phones or for the lines coming in. The lines coming in have to be generally the old analog uh, or old legacy type of phone lines coming in. Generally, a, a digital phone has a small cord on it like this and a wire comes in from the wall, goes to the control unit and it runs the phone and only the phone. On the new IP telephony types of phones, like here, you'll find that they have two plugs. They have a plug coming in here, and this is not a phone line. This is a data line. This is like a local area network connection. And you have another jack right here, if you can see this, that is where your computer can plug into. So local area network in, 10, 100 megabit connection or a gig connection necessarily. And out here is where your computer can plug into. So this is a VOIP telephone. It is connected over your local area network. Let's talk about the next thing. So we've talked about what a legacy phone system is. We've talked about what VOIP is, voice over an internet protocol. In a case like an IP phone like this, you are now transmitting your voice through a sort of a data connection rather than the old legacy way of doing things. The next thing we want to talk about is SIP, Simple Instruction Protocols. Their session and in initiated protocol, SIP. Now that is a trunk that is, or a line, a business line, if you will, that comes into your business. So you have a phone number, 555-1212. How does that get into your business? Well, the phone company brings it into your place of, of, of business, and then it connects to your phone system from there. So you might have a five-line overline, for instance. Now, is that a SIP trunk, or is it just a regular old copper dial tone? For most companies out there, it's still copper dial tones that you're paying... 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars per line per month to the phone company for. Well, the new types of trunks, IP trunking, which is called SIP trunking, is the same phone number, 555-1212, but now we can bring it into your business for 30 to 50 percent less money. Same phone number, different way of bringing it into your business. Got a problem now though, because once it comes into your business, it needs to connect up to a system that's not a legacy phone system. It has to connect up to a system that's either hybrid, that will work with digital phones and IP phones, or strictly an IP only type of a phone system, which tend to be more expensive still. So you want to be able to get SIP trunks into your business. And then you want to be able to connect them up to a phone system that's going to be able to accommodate them. There's only two ways to do that. Either upgrade your phone system so that they can take SIP trunks into the phone system or you have to get adapters that will allow a SIP trunk to convert back to sort of an old analog or copper type of a dial tone. That kind of stuff is still out there and if you don't have the extra money to spend on a new phone system you can do these adapters and they will work quite well as well until you can get yourself up to the next generation. So those are some of the definitions that we talk about when you are bringing yourself up to speed on making a purchase or making a move from an old traditional phone system to a VOIP phone system 
or to go to SIP trunking or IP trunking. Those terms are somewhat interchangeable. Call us, visit me on my website. It's Tom McDonald, 1-800-667-2818. Go to our website if you want, www.tmsi.ca, or call me and talk to me about this. we will be glad to help you understand the terms. So, Tom from TMSI. That was easy. Why is it not shutting off? I guess it won't shut off.